Good Tuesday morning. Yes, this morning right now, SJSH. Actually, this message is going out just to my St. Jude's family. So good afternoon, St. Jude's School. This message is just for you. Late in the afternoon yesterday, I received the memo from the Ministry of Education, which detailed about the remote learning. In it, there was a very wonderful stipulation that said, private schools may continue to offer in-person teaching or instruction to students with special education needs who cannot be accommodated through remote learning, which means we are opening St. Jude's School on the 4th as usual. So all St. Jude's classes and only St. Jude's classes will be in on the 4th to start in-person learning as per usual. They will have their normal full day with their teachers learning. Um, I've since contacted all of the teachers and the staff and they are ecstatic. They are so happy that they're able to come in in that week and work with your children. I am so happy. I can't, I'm, I'm so glad that the government acknowledged that there are students that this remote learning just does not work for and gave us the allowances to do this. Also, I thought was interesting about this. This is not an option for public schools. Public school students do not have this option. There will be no educating for special education students during this time period. They, it is only remote learning for the public school students. We are so privileged. And again, that the provincial government has acknowledged that private schools are different, that we operate differently, and that um, our students need to be in these classes. So for Miss Farrell's classroom, for Miss Adele's classroom, for Miss uh, Lewis's class, Mr. Peckham's class, and Miss um, Atamanuk's class, or Miss A, all of those students will be in as of the fourth. Now, if you choose um, to have remote learning that time, we will be sending work home to your child. Um, they will keep up. The teachers will send work like they normally do via Edmodo so that your child can continue to learn at home. Um, but please know that St. Jude staff will be here, will be open, uh, we'll have regular recess, lunch, all of our classrooms like normal. And then it will be the Scholars Hall students, elementary students that will join us on the 11th and then the Scholars Hall high school students joining us on the 25th. Uh, so a bit of a rolling start over the Christmas break. But St. Jude students, I'm excited. I get to see you on the 4th. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'll be sending out a little bit more information in the January newsletter specifically for my St. Jude's um, families. Uh, just again, explaining what that week will look like. Um, it will have a lower population, so it will look a little different. But for the most part, your classes will be operating as normal with your teachers here in the building. Um, same time, same drop off time, same pickup time, same everything. So St. Jude's students and St. Jude's families, I'm excited. This is good news. Merry Christmas. And I will see you all on the 4th. Bye for now.